Indigenous peoples experience poor outcomes in the healthcare system. Sometimes this is because their requests to incorporate traditional healing practices are not respected by their healthcare team. There is a myth that Indigenous medicines are not real medicines. This is rooted in long-standing racist beliefs and biases which have been built in today's healthcare system that really only valued Western forms of healthcare. Indigenous peoples' traditional healing systems are often marginalized in the Western healthcare system. This is largely due to colonial biases and racist beliefs that say that Indigenous medicines aren't valid or lack legitimacy because they haven't been quote unquote proven by Western scientific mechanisms. This isn't true. We have our own ways of validating and passing on knowledge of health and healing that have operated on our lands long before Western healthcare as we know it today. Although Western medical models might suggest that Indigenous medicines lack scientific legitimacy, the truth is Indigenous knowledges of plant medicines have helped to advance modern science. For example, you might not know that the active ingredient in aspirin, a compound called acetylsalicylic acid, was actually first used by Indigenous peoples who took medicines from the bark of the willow tree. Unfortunately, most of the profits from drugs that have been developed using knowledge from Indigenous plant medicine knowledge keepers has gone to pharmaceutical companies and not to the Indigenous knowledge keepers or communities themselves. The strengths of Indigenous healing methods are that they don't just focus on symptom management or our physical bodies, but they sustain our communities through attention to our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. Expanding our definitions of real medicine to include Indigenous medicine is a really important step to advancing cultural safety and improving access to traditional healing within Western healthcare systems. These are foundational obligations and part of our commitment to respond to the health-related calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada.